Welcome back, everybody. Your boy, CG in the house. What do I have here? I have a $1,200 Amazon return pallet. You know what? All here, a couple products here. Taking a fast look. Unfortunately, if you saw my last pallet, I hit the golden nugget. This one, eh, it's looking a little shady. Not quite as good as the last time, but let's go through it. Let's see if we can get our money back. Let's see if we can make something. All right. So, what do we got here to start off? Logitech, Melk's keyboard combo. Let's see what we have. Well, let's get some of this stuff off the top here. The bigger light stuff, I have no idea what it is. So, open her up. Take a look. What do we have? Okay. Coach New York. Highly unlikely. That's what it is. The bag's from Coach New York. Definitely, uh, I don't know what we have here. Kind of, it's just a, just a frame. I guess to put a picture or something in. Yeah. Not all the greatest there. See, a lot of these boxes when I was unloading them, awfully light. So, I mean, usually when they're that light, it's not a very good sign. It means somebody's returning, you know, something. Look at, look at. Okay, so somebody actually returned dirty towels. Like, seriously, you know? And this is what I'm getting at, you know? They, they rip off the system and they returned dirty towels, like seriously. But, you know, in liquidation, this is what you have to be prepared for. I mean, you spend your money in, you know, you're gonna get these. So you just have to take the punches when they come, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know what this is. Look at on here and tell me. What do we have? Couple metal pieces in there. Okay. Well, it's all it's all in Mandarin or Cantonese, so I can't tell you how to put that together. But by the picture, it's just a little towel bar, towel bar for the bathroom. Have to make sure all the pieces go through it. Make sure all the pieces are there. Uh, even if they, even if it, everything is there, it's not a definitely. It's not a very good product value wise. So, let's see what this is. Box a little heavier. Oh, at least they have corner corner things on them, so they were protecting it. Whatever it was. It's always a good sign. It's always a good sign when they're looking after their packages. Alright. Hopefully this is uh, better than how we first started. Because if that's a sign the way we first started, what this pallet's going to be like, we're in big trouble. Big trouble. What do we have here? Okay, so I have a whole box of the same thing. What's this? Wall outlet extender with USB. Uh, okay, um, it might be worth something. So there you go. Wall outlet, stick it in. Uh, I guess basically to put it anywhere, bathroom, anywhere. So here you go, just goes in your regular outlet. It's got uh, two USB, looks like it has a light on it, and then your uh, regular outlets. So, let's see what they're worth, and uh, you know, hopefully we can get something out of this. Because, not only do I have one of these, but there's actually, in the box, full. So I have one, uh, oh, anyway, is that one? So I'm going to say one, two, three, four, eight. So there's either 16 or 20 in here. 
So that could be a good find, uh, depending on what they're worth, and I guess, you know, the demand for something like that. But hey, if the, if the, if the money's there, I'm happy. Well, at least we have uh, some products there that we could unload. So here we already have this, you can see this. It's a Lucid, it's a mattress uh, cover. Memory foam, mattress topper. Uh, okay, so at least it's queen. Makes it a little easier to sell queen size as opposed to being a double or something. Uh, okay, seven and a half centimeter. I'll take a look at that. Just make sure it's all spick and span. Fisher Price. Learn with me zebra. Kind of, you know what? I get worried when it's all taped up like this because that means somebody obviously had returned something. Obviously, look at that. That means somebody cut right through this. It's not, uh, it's not giving me high hopes. High hopes for uh, making a profit on this. So, I just want to gently open it. It's already bad enough, so if the product is new and it looks like it is makes it a little easier for me to resell and everything's in here packaged in the thing so i have to get into that i think somebody returned it somebody really cut it i have to make sure nobody wrecked anything when they cut that when they opened it up so fisher price kids toy not a fan on the kids stuff but uh we'll see uh, wow, who knows? Who knows what's in this puppy, eh? This is just a gong show here. Ah, some, uh, it's a, some foam thing. I don't like this kind of stuff. You know, it's so hard to get rid of, especially when it's in kind of packaging like this. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Uh, I don't know if that's a mattress or let me get this off so you can all take a look at it and uh, you have to be careful how I'm cutting this and I'll show you why in a second. So here we go. I'm not sure if this is a mattress. It's definitely I don't think in its original box um, which makes it a little bit more difficult to sell. So I'm gonna have to say this is like another foam topper think they purchased it and by the time you get it out it expands and then you have a heck of a time trying to get it back in original box that's why they didn't they stuck it in this um, yeah again this here unfortunately I mean it doesn't matter the brand could be a high-end brand everything else it's probably going to be a no sale um, so hopefully I can use it Another, here's another mattress topper, different brand, linen spa. It's a two inch gel memory foam. Basically the same as what I just opened up there, but at least this is in its box. Uh, gently open it later, uh, make sure that it's all, all good. King size, beautiful. Uh, you know, they go for a good dollar providing, providing, you know what, it's just, uh, it's just a, a wrecked up box could be good as opposed to that I can't sell that so, again well I don't know if it's more bedding I hate bedding you know bedding and kids toys yeah some kind of cover and it's big so really big I don't know if there's two in here I'll have to dig, dig in deeper in that again you know, not my favorite kind of merchandise to get. Because even if it was uh, in its original packaging in pristine condition, you're not getting a lot of money for it. So, I mean, not my, uh, definitely not what I'm really looking for. It's just hard to make your money back doing that. Okay, well, let's so These are open, no big deal. So Sunbeam, uh, heated blanket, so it's a twin. You know, I'll take the twin. I mean, I'd rather have a queen or a king. Uh, these obviously are, these are brand new. They've never been opened. 
So, I mean, it makes clothes a little bit easier of a sell. Again, heated blanket, even a twin, uh, they're $50 prop. You get, I mean, I might get $50 for them, so $100. Hundred buckaronis. Again, another another package that is not opened or not sneak the way I'd like to see anything. Yeah, uh, you know what? This this palette unfortunately is looking like a bust. Here we go, here we go. Doormat. Uh, Merry Christmas. Isn't that funny? You know, Christmas is over. Let's return it. You can tell. Somebody used it and then returned it. Nature of the business. You know, it's disgusting that they actually, would actually use it. So, again, I'm stuck with a product. You know what? I'm probably going to have to put it on my front porch because it's not worth two cents. Fragili. What do you call it? Fragili. And it's very light. So, I'm going to have to say, you know what? Again, it's going to be another bust. You know, I hate getting negative on these, you know, pallets, but, you know, come on, really? There you go. I need a couple containers, you know, and there's some broken shards on the bottom, so I'm going to have to say, so, what broke? Something broke. But, again, got handles, handles. Get this out of your way. Take a better look. So... I mean, we've got a long way to go to make $1,200 back this time. I mean, buckets. This here, this is what I had my eye on when I bought the pallet. These are, uh, it's an air filter for the house, you know, depending on your model. You could filter up to 1,500 square feet up, you know, over 2,000 square feet. Unfortunately, as soon as I picked it up, I'm like, ah. Oh. Come on, seriously. There is nothing in this thing. If there's anything, they might have sent back a filter, but they did not send back the unit. And these units retail for $500. And, uh, you know, there's the box. This is what I was looking for. The problem is, is there's nothing in the box. They returned a complete empty box. Whole empty box. Like they didn't even put a fake product in it. You know, so disappointed. So disappointed. Wow. I don't know what to tell you on this one. So, Snow Joe. I mean, I don't know. Let's see. You know, you have pallets where sometimes you make your money back, and it's, it's an easy money back, you just don't make money. But when you get some, some of these pallets where, I mean, you can't even make your money back, or you're fighting to make it back, it's, just, it's so disappointing. But again, if you want to get into the liquidation world, this is exactly what you deal with. So Snow Joe uh, has been taken out of the box. Hello. It hasn't been used. Um, I think somebody had purchased it, obviously, because these are laying there. It's not how it was packaged. Um, you know, it's all have to take it out. I don't know. It's all it's all scuffed up. So we'll see. Um, wheels are a bit dirty. I don't know if it's been used. It doesn't look like from in here, but I'll have to take it out, do some homework, and uh, you know, see if we can salvage something from this even. And again, these Snow Joes, they're electric, they're not worth a lot of money. A couple hundred, well, 250 brand new. So this one here, this model might not even be worth that much. It's a smaller one, I'm going to have to say, you know, it's a 15 inch. Best case scenario, if it's all there and it works, I'll get $100 out of it. So again, not, uh, I'm not doing very well on this one at all. Okay, explore more Baby's View Three Stage Activity Center. I'm not going to open it up. I mean, it's it's taped. I'm going to have to say it's in there. Hopefully, all I can ask for when I actually do open it up that it's in pristine condition. See what it goes for. Um, I'm not sure. Baby View Three Stage. Yeah, just out of curiosity. 
let's see if I can get some money back here because I think I have two of them so let's Google this up skip hop activity center mm-hmm feathers coming out of my jacket what's new so I guess it depends on the model there's a couple different models here skip hop activity center three play center three stage grow it's exactly baby's view three stage I'm assuming that's it so if you look at it that's not too bad I don't know if you can see that on camera uh, let me get this up for you so I have two providing they're good they retail for about hundred and seventy dollars a piece so you know what hopefully the two are in really good condition and 170 try and get a hundred dollars each that's 200 back yeah it's a start so i have one there and uh i had another one somewhere i'll find it so let's see what's in here whoops okay hoffins video recorder again feels awfully light it was returned i don't like how it's taped here let's make sure to, I guess I'll have to it was just thrown back in definitely not factory packed that's for sure um, you know again the ignorance of people it's cracked here a little crack there I'm not too concerned about that uh, I'd be selling it as as a used product anyhow open box used so I guess I'm gonna have to you know, see if it works. I mean, you know, freaking hair and everything on the damn thing. You know, I'll have to plug that in, make sure it all works. Again, I don't see that going for, uh, I mean, even in brand new mint condition. Here's a radio on the front, so a record player radio. I can't see it being a very desirable piece. And if it, I mean, I don't think you're gonna get much for it one way or another. Yeah, here. Again, I'm not liking the way this is packaged. Okay, so it's in there. A of some sort. Okay. So it is a light. Uh, I don't know if those. It's not a. Okay. So these are all, I think, I don't know if they're just little holes. They're definitely not the prettiest looking thing, that's, that's for sure. It's been open, you can see people's fingerprints on it. So, uh, an issue. Uh -huh -huh. I'll have to somehow hardwire that in somewhere just to see if it all works and uh go from there i guess i mean it's you know okay so you have all those little hooks and these are off the little hooks little kind of uh chandelier crystals different see what uh i guess we'll see what that's worth Nice tape job somebody sent back, really. Foot, foot spa massage where I'm not holding, uh, not holding my breath anymore. Not on this pallet. I mean, usually, usually returns have always said, if you watch my videos, they come in three different, you know, aspects, or four, really. Uh, return, somebody used it, um, you know, and then sent it back after they've had their fun or use out of it, which to me, you know, it's appalling, disgusting, you know, give it a break, right? Uh, the other one, they return it, they open it up, something's the parts missing or it's actually broken, so they have every right return it, and then you have a broken part. You can sell something for parts that way. Uh, third one, they, re they uh, open it up, uh, realize that it's not what they actually wanted or the quality wasn't what they wanted, so all they do is 
They don't even use it. They tape it back up. It's sent back. That's what we call a brand new product open box. And then the fourth return is you order something and you uh, get it and you send it right back without even opening it up because you either, either decided, well, I don't need it anymore or I found a cheaper one somewhere else while you're waiting for it to be delivered and it's sent back and it's got a brand new product. There are your four aspects of a return. Uh, I'm not getting the good ones. I seem to be getting the broken ones. The, the I mean, they're not even returning in some of the stuff like dirty towels and, oh boy, I don't know what to tell you. Foot massager. Okay. Okay, look at it. Doesn't look like it has been used, but there is, you know what, has been. There's watermarks on top. Um, you can see the watermark, so I'm going to have to plug it in, see if it works, and if it works, clean it up and then sell it as, uh, you know, a used product. You know, open box, used, return, inspect it, so you know if it works. Okay, let me get this out of the way here. Here. Amazon. Oh, clean size, so again, it looks like it's more bedding, which I really don't want. Like I said, even if it's even if it's in brand new condition, which okay, at least this one is, it's never been opened. Um, you know, you don't get a lot of money for it. You know, it's a sheet set, full clean. So again, you know, you usually sit on stuff like that and when you finally do sell it, you're not making a lot of money. So unfortunately, that's what I'm stuck with on this one. Um, let's see what this is. Toddler bed, I'm not gonna open it, it's heavy. It looks like it's, it looks like it should be pretty good. It's a little beat up, but I mean, I'll have to open it up later. Kid craft. Let me see if there's any value here. Okay. Kidcraft. A toddler bed. Toddler bed, here we go. Okay. A convertible bed. Kidcraft fire truck. No, I just want a regular. Where's the regular one? Uh, toddler bed white. I'm not sure what color this is. I'll have to take a look. Uh, uh, there you go. Unfortunately, you know, it's one of these things price unavailable, um, which means there's none left on Amazon. So I can't get the price from Amazon. Um, I don't know what they're I don't know what they would normally go for Kidcraft convertible bed that's not it it's not a fire truck um, you know so here's one here uh, a Kidcraft toddler bed espresso color it looks the same as you know what I have I don't know if this is white espresso I have to look retail for 160 165 dollars so if it's all here good condition I don't care what color it is uh, I'll put it on for a hundred dollars. So there's another hundred. I mean, it's definitely not enough, but uh, we'll have to, you gotta you gotta deal with it. Roll with the punches. Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you don't. Another one. I think I'm getting uh, the, uh getting robbed here on this one. No, not gonna be worth anything. Yeah, it's not. So, somebody threw something back in here. And it is. Bowl. Dog bowl. So, it's a stand for a dog bowl. Sad part is, they return one bowl. So, I mean, even if I can put this together, I'm missing a bowl. Again, best case scenario. You know, I'm going to get $10 for it, so not 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 happy with that. This here, uh, I'm not going to open, at least I know it still has some factory, it's a mirror. 
Um, so we have a Decora port for Jilly. I'll have to take a look later, just make sure that it didn't crack. Uh, a mirror, you never know. Let's see, the core port. See if we have any value here. Okay, so it's just a. Uh, I'm thinking it's just a regular, a regular mirror. It's not saying anything fancy. Uh, let's just. 55 by 36 again I don't have any I don't have any measurements uh, per se at the present moment let's just see what that's worth mm, you know if it's an LED mirror I mean it could be worth it could be worth up to a couple hundred dollars uh, so if you get an LED mirror it could be worth a couple hundred I'll take that pray that that's all in there mint condition. Uh, it might be a saving grace of getting something back off of this pallet with the other, you know, $100 product I have. And, you know, this here again, somebody returns absolutely garbage, ripping off the system. And, you know, Amazon has to stop doing this. They have to stop allowing people to return without having inspections. It's just absolutely absurd, you know. So, I have a uh, couple pieces in there. Dark laundry, so it's a laundry bag. If all the pieces are in there, it's a laundry bag that's in a tree box. Okay.